Cheers. Welcome to another episode of tonight's double feature. Mm. I thought I'd pour myself a glass of wine here and put on my, you know, my sport coat, get a little classed up to talk about uh, one of the most prolific and uh, popular uh, actresses in the erotic thriller subgenre. Um, and of course, I'm talking about Shannon Tweed. If you're not familiar with her, she was uh, very prolific in the 80s, uh, 90s, especially, a little bit of the 2000s. And then, of course, she went on to have a very successful reality TV show career. She was on uh, F Family Jewels, I think it's called, because she's married, of course, to Gene Simmons. Anyway, we're going to be talking about two of her erotic thriller films tonight, which is, you know, if you know me at all, and you can kind of see behind me, I decided to move locations because you know, talking about erotic thrillers, talking about two VHS tapes tonight. So I moved location, my location from my normal spot where I record these things over to the, uh, to the VHS wall. Ugh. So let's get into it. Shannon Tweed. Movie number one is called Night Fire. And I do have this, as you can see, on VHS. Great looking cover here, which was sort of the inspiration for the lighting tonight. I have some blue over this way. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's some orange over that way. And uh, we got Shannon Tweed in this movie along with John Lachlan and Martin Hewitt. Uh, no tagline. No tagline on the cover there. But... Um, no tagline on the back either. Wow. So I've had this movie for quite some time. Uh, this film came out in, oh, 1994. Okay, peak, peak uh, erotic thriller time. Not my favorite year of erotic thrillers, but pretty, pretty peak. And um, I watched this, I rewatched this movie recently um, remembering that I really liked it, but when I rewatched it, I was like, what is this? This is, this is not good, you guys. Um, and we'll get into it a little bit why that is, but let me just read you the description on the, on the back of the box here. For Lydia Evans, Shannon Tweed, uh, this weekend was to be a time to rebuild passion with her husband, Barry, John Lachlan. All of her plans are interrupted by the arrival of Cal and Gwen, a stranded couple who have an appetite for kinky, dangerous sex. Their behavior elicits Barry and disturbs Lydia. Nevertheless, she finds herself intrigued by the couple and aroused by their carnal thrills. As Barry's obsession with Cal and Gwen grows, so do Lydia's suspicions. A weekend of sexual passion turns into a night of terror and a quest for survival. And that is what happens in the film. The problem, the problem with it, and I suspect that the problem with a lot of erotic thrillers that came out around, around this particular time uh, is that it has not aged well in terms of, uh, well, let's just say that this is not a feminist uh, masterpiece by any means. And look, that is obviously to be expected to some degree, but watching this film, I was like, they're, they're, they're just kind of torturing this woman. Like she really doesn't want to have anything to do with the, uh, sexual escapades that are going on in her backyard. These two people, Cal and Gwen, pretend that their car breaks down or something. And then they just kind of hang around the house for like months. And Shannon Tweed's husband, um, Barry, is very into it. 
he's trying to do the whole, you know, let's, let's get a tryst going on, or let's get a, you know, foursome going on with this other couple. Shannon Tweed just doesn't want to have anything to do with it. And they keep trying to force her, force her into it. And her husband keeps trying her to get, do a bunch of stuff that she doesn't want to do. And again, I recognize that this is from a particular time period, but even for the time period is what I'm saying. I don't think that this was very, uh, Oh, it's just gross. I was just kind of grossed out by the whole thing, which is not what you want to be saying on an erotic thrillers episode. You want to say like, this was so steamy and I was so hot and bothered by night fire, you know, but I'm not going to lie to you. I was grossed out by this one. Which is, uh, you know, just a little bit on the unfortunate side. I don't know what else to say. Um, I, I think that this movie is a little bit tough to get a hold of these days. I don't know that it's uh, streaming anywhere or anything like that. But if you see it, just avoid it. This is not the best. This is sh not Shannon's best work. Uh, I mean, she's fine in the film. But just, again, the plot and everything. Um, this was originally, this tape comes originally from uh, Toronto, Canada. And there's, I just thought that this was kind of interesting. There's some interesting, for me anyway, some different rating stickers on the back of this thing. Um, they have a whole different system over there. So uh, there's Nightfire, um, avoid it. Up next, I'm happy to report that movie number two in our Shannon Tweed double feature uh, it's called Naked Lies, and it is moderately more watchable than uh, Nightfire. Uh, and uh, you got Shannon Tweed on the cover here, and you have two men with guns behind her. And Naked Lies here is a little more action-oriented, I would say. Um, this came out in 1997, so I, a couple years later. Um, but yeah, this one is a little bit more action-oriented. Shannon plays like a covert, you know, sort of undercover operative. Um, but as you can see, she does find time to get sexy. So let me take a sip of wine here. I'm trying to, you know... Trying to get in the sexy spirit just a little bit, even though both of these movies were far from my favorite in terms of erotic thrillers. Um, uh, if you want to see more, me and Mike did an erotic thrillers episode of our B-Movie Mania TV show a handful of years back, several years back. But we enjoyed those movies a little bit more than I would say I enjoyed these. So I'll put a link down below to that if you would like to watch us. Uh, we're in the bathtub, so it is a little, um, you know, it's a little steamy. But um, uh, the movies on, on that particular episode, I think, were better than these movies. I'm just being honest. These, were, these didn't do a whole lot for me. So link down below to that episode of B-Movie Mania if you're interested. Um... Look at the back here of Naked Lies. Uh, you got a nice shot of Shannon there holding her gun. And what's this say? So, uh, go south of the border for a sexy, sultry thriller. And again, I would say that this is the better film of the two. If you, if you want to go out there and try to track one of these down, I would say this one for sure. Uh, so let me just read this descrip description for you. Sexy Shannon Tweed former Playboy Playmate, and star of Human Desires. I, uh, I don't think I've seen Human Desires. Stars as an undercover agent sent on a covert operation in Mexico. She has a gun, virtually no backup, and no way out. She uses all her weapons, including her brains and body, against a Playboy counterfeiter not a not someone who works for Playboy, just like a Playboy, you know, counterfeiter and his sadistic henchman. Co-starring Stephen Bauer 
and Mexican superstar Fernando Allende in his American film debut, Naked Lies is a seductive thriller of suspicion, betrayal, and suspense. Uh, color, 93 minutes. So, um, just going to be brutally honest with you guys. I wasn't paying super close attention to this one. I like my erotic thrillers to be, you know, kind of character-oriented, sensual. Uh, I like a good home setting. You know, this 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 particular film is much more sort of, you know, she's down in Mexico and there's a lot of locations. I think they actually spent a decent amount of money on this movie. This is directed by Ralph Portillo. Um, and, and, and it's a fine film. You know, I would say check it out if you can find it somewhere. But for me personally, it just didn't quite, um, you know, it didn't do anything for me sexually. Um, I should point out, and again, if you want to watch that episode of... Uh, uh, B-Movie Mania with me and Mike, we talk about this a little bit where I am not a gigantic fan of Shannon Tweet. I mean, look, she's a, she, she knows what she's doing. She's good at her job, but I was always more of a Julie Strain kind of guy. Mike is a tweeter. We talk about that a little bit in the episode. Mike is a tweeter, so he would probably enjoy this Naked Lies or Nightfire more than I did. Uh, but yeah, I was always a little bit more of a Julie Strain kind of guy. I think I have, well, here she is right here. I mean, not to get too off track a little bit, but you know, maybe we'll do this on the next erotic thrillers episode. Here she is in uh, Midnight Confessions. I got all sorts of stuff back here. Got some Tracy Lords. Yeah, I got a couple of... Uh, Well, here we go. I think. Mind, Body, and Soul, starring Wingshauser and Ginger Lynn Allen. And I think... I haven't opened this. I've seen this, but I haven't opened this. Um, I thought that... Anyway, I'm getting way too off track. Sorry about it. Um, it's the wine. Let's, uh... Let's wrap this up. Uh, you know, if look, if you are a hardcore tweeter, not tweet, not 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 like tweeting. I'm saying a hardcore tweet tweeter, Shannon tweeter. I would recommend that you at least watch Naked Lies, and if you can find it, Nightfire. Although, like I said, I think that I think Nightfire is a, is kind of hard to find. Um, otherwise, don't bother with either of these. Save, save your time, save your money, save your energy. Just drink some wine and, uh, you know, pull up some Julie Strain movies. Or maybe pull up a better Shannon Tweed movie, like, uh, check out that Human Desires. Maybe that's a little bit better. Anyway, thumbnail time. We gotta get a good, I mean, we gotta get a real good thumbnail here. You know, we even get my wine in the shot. Why not? You know, why not? Thank you for watching.